What's up, YouTube? I'm back today with Frankie, who came second with his Dynamorphia deck profile. Uh, what were your matchups today? Uh, so, round one was Mikenko, round two was Rescue Ace, round three was Cash, and round four was Centurion. So, the list we play three Brazier, this sets card from Deck Grave, and gains 500 tech if your life points are 2000 or lower, and it floats into a level four or lower if it's destroyed. And then Dino, the two dip blows again floats. So got this one sends from deck to graveyard, so you can send a trap to protect your life points. So you can send a counter trap to protect from battle, or a normal trap to protect from effect damage. And your and if you're like to see that lower burns your opponents for five hundred. Then play two duality and three prosperity to consistency. Duality you don't care about stress summon unlock because you're a normal summon on your turn realistically most of the time. You just want to stress summon on your opponent's turn. Then you play three Frenzy, three Domain, both fusion spells. Frenzy spells can send from extra, but both are needed. Then you play five counter traps for the Dynamorphia counter traps. So three intact for monster negates, two sonic for four trap negates. The amount intact is you only have to draw a Dynamorphia card, not monster. So if you activate one of your fusion spells, fusion traps, and they go ash, you can just intact anyway. Then if you don't have a monster on the field. And then play two alert and a brute. So alert special summons up to two Dynamorphias whose levels equal eight. And can be quite useful in end phase where you just summon a Therese back in end phase, set a fusion spell and just play out the next turn. And then brute is a pop, so it's just good for outing things like back row. And just big and just monsters that are harder to out. Then six songs, just because they pay life points and then you gate, so pretty good. Three goes in as floodgates. Three ferret planes, this card's funny, just shuffles cards back when you have like one life points, just shuffles the entire ball back pretty much. Three trap check, just to feel more consistency to see traps more often. And then three songs, spring king to pay out life points and up. And you can summon a couple other dragons out if you couldn't use the card on that turn. Extra, play three Rextrum, because Rextrum is just a big floodgate. Three Kentrick Gina to be able to get to your Rextrum, and then two stuff to get it to use it. You send it off Frenzy to get to the Rextrum, but to get to Kentrick Gina. But then you can also just summon it in a very niche circumstances. Then two Zarks, up for the some venom for the Spring King Trap. Then Garu, because I'm playing the Sun Venom, so they basically call a good target. Lingaribo to deal with Italy Locks, and then Little Knight, because it's Little Knight. Side deck, three Shifter, go second, because you can just, if you go second, you Shifter them, they pass turn, you set five pass, you're no longer under Shifter on their turn, you just play on their turn. Two Lightning Storm and a Feather Duster, just back to height. Because I'm playing Storm Venom and then Ogura, three Supai. Then three Anti Spell for more Fogates going first, and into games two and three where you're playing right side like Lightning Storm or Feather Duster. And then Spicy Tech to deal with the Mirror. Play three Cauldron the Old Man because they're all, we're all paying knife points, so activate Cauldron, they have to solemn it or brute it. Deal with it, always attempt to waste their resources preventing damage. But yeah, that's the list. Uh, thank you, Frank, for the deck profile. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Cheers.